Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Love by Chetan Snuria for some more leaks and rumors. First of all, let's jump to Samsung. We have multiple reports that the upcoming Galaxy S4 will come with Bixby and not just any Bixby. Bixby 2.0. The Bixby 2.0 is very much anticipated at this point as it is rumored to be highly intelligent. It is also rumored that the Galaxy Gear S4 might also drop the name Gear S4 and just be the Galaxy Watch, which definitely sounds cleaner. So get ready for an artificially intelligent watch. Let's move to the next Galaxy S device, the Galaxy S10. I know it is still early to say anything about it, but we already know that the Galaxy S10 will come in three variants. The first two having a dual camera setup and the third and the largest one having tri-camera setup with having a normal zoom lens, a 123 degree super wide angle lens and a telephoto lens making the camera setup very versatile. Not only that, we have leaks about the largest Galaxy S10 might also be featuring a dual front camera making total number of cameras on the device 5. It is said that it will greatly increase the quality of selfie portrait pictures. Samsung seems to be going all out on the Galaxy S10. And speaking of Galaxy S10, it will be powered by the Exynos 9820, which we have some leaks about. A well-reputed leaker, Ice Universe tweeted that the Exynos 9820 will use 2 plus 2 plus 4 dynamic architecture, which means that different types of cores will be able to work together. The processor will come with two of Samsung's own custom M4 cores, which will work as high performance cores. Two of Cortex A75, which will be medium performance cores, and four of Cortex A55, which will be low performance cores. If you compare that with the Exynos 9810, which is currently powering the Galaxy S9 family, you will notice that the Exynos 9810 also has four Cortex A55 cores, and that the Exynos 9820 will have two less high performance cores than that of the Exynos 9810 which will definitely decrease the power usage but it may also decrease the performance. To offset the lack of two less high performance cores replaced with two medium performance cores, Samsung will have to squeeze as much power as it can from the two remaining high performance cores. Moving to some impressive news by Samsung. We have reports that a Galaxy S9 on Telefonica Network, a Spanish telecom company, went to speeds as high as 1 Gbps. That is some impressive speed. And to put that in simpler terms, 1 Gbps is a speed at which you can download 128 MBs in a second. I'm at loss of words. Moving to Huawei, we have leaks of the Huawei Honor Note 10. We have previously seen the Honor Note 8 which was launched back in 2016. It was a humongous device but wasn't very popular. We have Geekbench results of the device and they seem pretty good. Scoring almost 2000 in single core and 6800 in multi core. And the device also seems to have 6 gigs of RAM which is just great. It might be a good device. For those who are looking for a mid-ranger device with a huge display. We also have hands-on leaked pictures of Huawei Nova 3 and the device just looks like the iPhone 10 in low light. And even the software is also themed like the iPhone 10. The only thing that gives it away is the navigation bar below. Speaking about the iPhone 10's design, we have a device from Nokia that also has the same design as of the iPhone 10, the Nokia X5, having same design from the front with a bit more chin and a dual camera at back. Nokia is making a comeback. And at last, we have full specs leak of the Microsoft Surface Go, which is a very handy laptop come tablet. The device will have a 10 inch display with a resolution of 1800 into 1200, having three is to two aspect ratio. A Intel Pentium Gold processor, four and eight gigs of RAM, multiple options of storage, and it all comes in a very reasonable and competitive price. I think the Surface Go will be a hit. Well done Microsoft. So guys, that's all I have for you today. I hope you liked this video and if you're new here, please subscribe to this channel and do follow me on Instagram as well. This is Chetan Snoria signing off.